friends, it's time for another farm update. Some friends were asking how we get all the food ready that the cows eat during the year. So I made a video talking about all the steps that we go through to get their food ready. So here's the field that I had shown friends earlier. This is one of our fields on the farm and it was growing the triticale. Triticale is a blend of rye and wheat. So it's both rye and wheat. So sometimes I call it rye and sometimes I call it triticale. So you can see the tractor in this video is taking all of the triticale that was cut down and that we had fluffed up with rakes and it is taking rakes and it's putting together in one long row. The implement on the back that's doing this is called a merger because it's putting all of the triticale together into a row that's easier for the chopper to pick it up and put it into the dump trucks. Here you can see some of the rye or triticale that's already been merged together into rows. When I started filming this, it was about 7 a.m. So they've already gotten a couple loads of the triticale into the bunker and they're starting to pack it down. When the dump truck is all full, it comes over to the bunker and it dumps all of the triticale into the bunker. Those two tractors help smush it down because it's really important for the triticale to be pushed all the way down. It has to be compacted. This way we can fit a lot into the bunker and it helps it when it makes silage because it's there's a lot of things to keep in mind when making silage like how much air is into it and all of those pieces like if it's too wet or too dry. So we try to pick a pack as much as we can because the cows need a lot of food for the fall. After the dump truck dumps its load, these tractors then come pack it down. So the green tractor is called a packing tractor and it has some weights on the back so it can make it really heavy and a blade on the front that helps it push the rye because the dump truck just dumps it into a pile and then we need to spread it out so it's an even amount everywhere. And the blue tractor just helps pack everything down too. The green tractor isn't something the farm owns. That's another farmer who comes to help us because it takes a lot of teamwork to get this done. We can't do it by ourselves. So the bunker keeps filling up between when I started filming this morning and now it's been about seven hours and the dump trucks just keep coming in every couple of minutes a new dump truck comes in and dumps their load of triticale and it keeps getting packed so they do this all day it takes a full day to fill up the entire bunker.
When the bunker is all finished, we'll push, pull the plastic over the sides, and it's going to look like this side of the bunker. That side has corn silage on it, and you can see how it was kind of folded over. It's important that we fold the plastic over the top and put another layer that keeps the triticale safe from the wind and rain, and that's what helps it turn into silage because it needs to ferment and it takes it has to sit for a little while. So we want to keep it safe as it sits so it's ready to be food for the cows in the fall. Now I'm going to show you some video of what it looks like inside the packing tractor that my brother took for me. My big brother Andreas is in the blue tractor. So this is what it looks like inside of there. This is how the chopper gets the triticale into the dump truck. So if you look closely, the front of the chopper has some blades that are spinning, and as it spins, it catches the row, and it chops it up into little pieces, and then it goes out through the back, out of that little hopper, and it blows it into the dump truck. So it's important for the dump truck and the chopper, they have to travel at the same speed, so that dump truck can get filled up. And then when the dump truck's all filled, the chopper will stop and the other dump truck will take its place and they'll keep going. So they go through all of the fields until it's all picked up. So now all of the triticale has gotten in. It was a 170 dump truck loads that came in. So now that it's all full and been packed down, we covered it with this orange plastic. That's the oxygen layer, so it helps keep the oxygen from getting it to it so it doesn't mold or anything happen. And so now we're going to fold it up kind of like a burrito. So this plastic on the wall was over on the side and we had folded it down over the oxygen layer. And now we're going to be taking another piece of plastic and putting it over top. So it'll be all wrapped up just like the other bunker and be safe and protected. So we've pulled the big piece of white and black plastic over and then we put these tarps over top of it too. And that protects the plastic more and we weigh it down with these bags of rocks. So that was my job was to go through and put down all of the rocks so this tarp stays down and the plastic stays down. This is what the triticale looks like all chopped up after it goes through the chopper. So now this is all ready. The bunker's all finished. So we had covered it in the orange plastic, the black and white plastic, the tarps. So it's safe from all of the elements and it's ready.
What did you guys think? Did you learn anything about the process of getting the food ready for the cows? So now this was the field that had the triticale in it. But now that the triticale is all done, we're gonna start planting corn here soon, and then we'll be able to have do the same process all over again with corn silage in the fall.